Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Preferred Medicare. I'm Holly Cohen, your host and licensed agent. Today, we are diving into a topic that's crucial for everyone relying on Medicare and Social Security. The trustees report on the solvency of these programs garners significant attention. And today we're going to break it all down with insights from J.O., an author that wrote Maximize Your Medicare. And he has provided some valuable perspectives on the current state of these essential programs. So let's get started. First off, let's address the common concern about the future of Social Security and Medicare. J.O. dismisses the idea that these programs are on the brink of insolvency as hysteria. He points out that projections, particularly concerning Medicare Part A, the hospital side, can be adjusted by Congress. The idea that I would lose sleep overnight over either of these two, to me, it seems far-fetched, says O., emphasizing funding for Medicare Part B and Part D is determined by congressional discretion. However, he also acknowledges that challenges remain, particularly due to the demographic shift. In 2024, more people will be turning 65 than at any point in the United States history. We have notable fiscal and demographic challenges, he notes. The pressure on the healthcare system is immense, with high healthcare costs and the need to maintain access to essential services for a growing elderly population in the United States. O advises individuals to stay updated on changes in Medicare configurations, and as these can impact their coverage and costs. What people want to do, certainly, is just to make sure they're up to date on these changes, he says. He highlights the potential feedback loop where limitations is in services could result in higher Medigap premiums. O goes on to explain that the results have been mixed due to the complexities of the healthcare system. For those on Medicare Advantage plans, O recommends evaluating upcoming changes and being flexible. You may benefit either by access to healthcare providers that you prefer or lower out-of-pocket costs by switching plans, he advises. Staying informed and actively seeking guidance can help optimize healthcare costs for the coming year. Now, let's address the headlines about the financial risks to Medicare and Social Security in this presidential year. While these may be alarming, O also reassures us that these are not reasons to panic. These are not necessarily reasons to lose sleep, he says. However, it is essential to stay vigilant and informed to ensure access to needed healthcare services. As I always say, be your own health care advocate. I recently myself had to go through a major surgery. I was reminded those important words right before I was wheeled back into the OR, <laughs> be your own health advocate. And boy, I was only in the hospital for one night and I couldn't believe how insurance runs our healthcare system, even though I have been in this insurance business for healthcare for over 14 years now. I didn't really understand the impact until I was a patient, and now I really understand what our clients go through. O puts it, that does not also give us an excuse to just be asleep at the wheel. Staying proactive and informed is crucial in navigating the complexities of Medicare and Social Security. 
That's all for today's video. Remember, while the future of Medicare and Social Security might seem uncertain, staying informed and proactive can help you navigate these changes effectively. Upcoming, we have 2025 right around the corner. Make sure when it comes in October 15th through December 7th, the annual enrollment period for Medicare, that you reevaluate. This next year, 2025, we will see some of the biggest changes in original Medicare and Medicare Advantage and Part D that we have seen in decades. So stay tuned to our channel, Preferred Medicare. Feel free to feel free to subscribe and feel free to subscribe. I'm Holly Cohen, your host, independent broker, and as always, be well.